Today we're in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania, and we're getting ready to tour the Carolina. Now this is an absolutely exceptional home with a very nice modern aesthetic on the exterior, as well as some very fine finishes on the interior. The Carolina is by Infinity Custom Homes, and it features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, a two car garage, and two floors, all of that sitting inside of 5,203 square feet. On the front of the home, you will notice all of the windows all trimmed out in black with very nice earthy tones that come in both the form of LV smart siding as well as the garage door, which is a nice natural wood look. And then on the right hand side of the home, you do have some nice clean lines with some darker brown siding. As you move around to the back of the home, you will notice a large covered patio that is divided by a beautiful two-sided fireplace. You can come out of the master bedroom and have a little bit of privacy and just kind of hang out and relax. Or you can come out of the dining room area and enjoy a much larger space. Out here on the patio, you also have a, another eating area. Before we get inside, the price for this home was not specifically listed. However, based on some of their other models, you're looking probably in the neighborhood of about $1.5 to $2 million, depending on your fixtures and finishes. Now, if you do want any information on this model or any of the homes that we've toured across the country, make sure to go over to timothyplivingston.com. I'll leave that information in the description. That way you can search this floor plan as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. But with all that being said, and without further ado, let's get inside and see if this one tickles you. All right. So when you first walk in, this is the view that you're agreed with. We're right here in a two-story foyer. Go ahead and turn you around real quick, let you see the front door. You got this really nice modern looking door, great big window, and then that cool looking light fixture way up in the ceiling. And then you got another matching one right here in this big old office. You got these, I love these doors right here. You got the glass kind of barn doors right here, which is pretty neat. And then you come into this office space. Love the light fixture again. Great big built-ins along the back wall. And then these huge windows. Again, another, <laughs> another crappy day. I feel like every time I wear this shirt, uh, the weather is always uh, atrocious. So as you continue through the foyer, to the right over here, you do have a set of stairs that goes up to the second floor. You also have your one half bath. Just right here, pretty cool looking mirror. And then you do have another window over here, which is pretty neat. And then right next to that, let's see if I can open it up. You do have a coat closet. So not too far away from the door, but right across the hall, you also have the laundry room. And actually, I love this right here. Check this out, how the tile kind of meets the, the wood floors. I think that looks pretty cool. But this is the mud room. Uh, you got a great big built-in over here. Plenty of storage space. I guess it's more of like a, a laundry room as well, but holy goodness, look. <laughs> Look at all of the, I can't even reach that. Like I would need a, a stool or something to, to get up into those cabinets, but you do have washer and dryer hookups right here, which is pretty nice. I love the shelves up above it. Got a great big wash basin in here too. And these countertops, they are nice. And then right off of this, you do have the doorway leading out to the two car garage. So plenty of space in here and another little side door leading out uh, onto the side of the house. Try not to slam it. <laughs> All right, so from here, uh, we'll go ahead and work our way into the great room and kitchen area. Absolutely beautiful. You can already see that fireplace outside too, which, oh my goodness, I love it. It's got like, you can sit on either side of it and still see it. But uh, we'll start here in the living room. Got the nice exposed beams, which I like. Fun little 
light hanging down in the middle too. And uh, actually, when we get downstairs and you see the little gym room that they got set up, whew, the fan in there, that thing, it reminds me of this light, but it looks cool. And then you have this fireplace, again, the outside one. I think there are three in total. Uh, there's one downstairs, we'll get to that in a little bit. But turning you back around, got nice views of the kitchen over here. You got a little pantry over here off to the side too. That's pretty unique. Got a little pocket door over here that separates it. Always fun. Nice black shelves in here. I love the white and black throughout the home. I think it looks really good. And then off to the kitchen. I like those light fixtures. It reminds me of, uh, you ever seen those, um, the water balloons that you can pick up and you fill them up from the top? That's what it looks like. Pretty cool though. Great big island, waterfall edge on either side. Nice undermount sink over here too. Ooh, that's a fun faucet. Got your dishwasher over here. Nice pan cabinet. Huge refrigerator. That thing is nice. Great big range hood right here, looking pretty schnazzy. And of course, I mean this right here. That's a stove top of dreams. A nice backsplash over here too. And then plenty of counter space. Great big pot and pan drawers. Maybe. I don't know what that's, maybe it's for plates. Got your built-in microwave, two ovens, and then this refrigerator. Whew, this thing is nice. And you do have plenty of upper cabinets as well, going all the way around the kitchen itself. And over here towards the dining room, we kind of got like a little uh, dry bar area, a little wine refrigerator, and some more open cabinets. And then a beautiful dining room table set up. Again, I love these light fixtures. I like that they've kind of, you know, kept them throughout the home. But a really nice space. And then, I mean, look outside, you even got more outdoor eating space out there too. And wait until you see this grill. This fancy. So coming out onto the porch, I mean, who would not want to hang out here? You know what I mean? That fireplace right there. Whoo, that's nice. You put a TV up there, it looks like. I love the ceilings out here too. I think that looks really sharp. So you do have this space right here kind of show that. And then coming over here on the opposite side, so this sits right off of the master bedroom, but don't look at that yet, because we'll get there in a little bit. But same thing, you got a nice light fixture out here and this fireplace. <laughs> There's so much outdoor living space, like, ah, oh man, I'd probably want to stay out here more than I'd want to stay inside. And you got this other, probably not here in Pennsylvania, but you know what I mean? Another light fixture, beautiful ceilings. I love the, the truss out here. I think that looks really sharp. And then this beautiful table. Again, great big built-in grill with all the drawers. It's like another refrigerator out here. I don't know what this one is. Trash can. Boom shakalaka. All right, let's get back inside because there is still so much to see. We'll go check out the master bedroom real quick. Go ahead and, cause you're gonna wait until you see the bathroom in this thing. It's nice. And then we'll go, we'll go upstairs and then we'll head back downstairs where they got even more stuff set up. So this is a main level master and it is, <laughs> it's pretty sweet too. Uh, I try to catch myself because all I want to do is walk around and say it's beautiful and I like it. 
And it's, you know, that's the truth of it. I, I walk through all of these homes and, you know, they're all nice. They're all new to me. And each one of them has something cool that I like, you know what I mean? This one's nice too. And then this is what I'm talking about. Look at that big old tub right there. Whoo. It's pretty neat. And I like the, like it just looks cool that it's black. Like the whole black and white theme going throughout the whole home looks pretty cool. Nice light fixture in here. Floating vanity. Double undermount sinks. Kind of shallow lo looking with the, I don't know, they just look kind of shallow. But it's a, it's a neat look. And then boom, big old shower. Big old shower head up there, removable shower head, normal shower head, great big bench over here. Right next to that, we got a gigantic linen closet. Well, we ain't done yet, don't, don't you worry. <laughs> don't look at the closet yet though. Got your toilet and this thing's fancy too. Um, and then into the master closet. Shelves and shoe racks. Cabinets for days. Man, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm so giddy about all of these. It's ridiculous. All right, from here, we'll go ahead and start working our way upstairs. And up here, there are three additional bedrooms as well as like a theater room. Turn you around, let's check out this light fixture. Some more big windows as you come up the stairs. And then right off of the landing, you have your first bedroom. And these things are all big too. Got your own personal ensuite. I think every one of these uh, bedrooms up here has their own personal ensuite. Single vanity in here, toilet. Nice tiled shower. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen uh, one with a lip like that. Pretty handy. And then into the closet. Got another linen closet out here in the hallway. Now we're just exploring. I know on this side, so this is the railing overlooking your foyer. And then on either side of that, you have additional bedrooms. Great big windows in here. Like, I don't know. I just like the amount of light that they provide. I think it looks pretty neat. Another closet in here, nice size. And another single vanity. Now this one just has a shower, but it has a great big bench in the back, so that's nice. And there's also a linen closet in here. And then across the hall, the third bedroom. I think this is third bedroom up here. So this is our fourth bedroom in total. I like that wall right there. It's kind of trippy. You can't tell, is it diamonds or is it like those bubbly swiggly things? But anyway, and you got another walk-in closet in here. And then this is kind of a, a walk-through uh, bathroom, you got a double vanity in here. I like the light fixtures. I think those look pretty neat. Pretty fun. And then you have another walk-in shower with your toilet here in the water closet. This is separated by a pocket door, which is right here. And then out of there, we're just at the end of the hall. 
mean, got another closet in here too. Now I'm sure this could be a, a bedroom if you wanted it to be a bedroom, but it is also like a gaming gaming room, I guess. Theater room. So a nice big space. You got attic access in here. I mean, it does have a closet and it has access into that other uh, bathroom. So that's nice. And then at the back, you know, this could even be like a in-law suite or something. But you do have a nice wet bar over here. Got a, or a, you know, anything. Popcorn, doesn't have to be a wet bar, but you know what I mean? A little kitchenette. And you got a little bar back behind us. And then from here, we'll go downstairs. Another window right here. And then wait until you see all this stuff. So this, there you go. You got your third fireplace down here. I mean, kind of a cool looking fireplace surround too. But you have built-ins on either side of this as well. Kind of a matching light fixture that we saw upstairs. And I'll turn you back, check out the, now you definitely have a wet bar down here. But another island over here, looks like a, wonder what you could put right there. Showcase some stuff. But anyway, cool little light fixture down here too. Another dining room set up, that's pretty nice. Is this a dishwasher? Yeah. Some of this stuff, y'all, it's too fancy. I've never seen it before. <laughs> so I gotta check it out. You do have plenty of glass cabinets up above it as well. I like the mirrored backsplash back here. I think that looks pretty neat. We'll check out this little dining room setup. Nice accent wall back here too. That light's really low. comes up to my shoulders, it's a little different looking. All right, right next to the stairs. We've got a little hiding spot down here. Nice little storage area. I know it's a little dark, but you get the gist of it. And then on the opposite side of this door, it's kind of like the unfinished side of the basement. So I'm sure if you wanted to finish this out all the way or this just becomes kind of like your, your maintenance room. Yeah, this thing just keeps going. Like we're, we're not done. We got a couple more things. So uh, all the way at the back over here, you do have another uh, full bathroom. It's a cool vanity in here. You got your toilet and another tiled walk-in shower. linen closet and then your gin room and this is the fan I was talking about see how kind of got that light that goes around it which is pretty cool got the mirror back here pretty nifty I mean of course you could probably turn this into anything that you wanted to There are two closets. Yeah, so there you go.